Okay, we're going to start a fire with a bow drill. I've already pre-made the bow drill versus uh, wasting a lot of time actually doing it on camera, but I'll show you how I did it. You got some uh, different parts. Here's a bow. Uh, pretty much arm's length is what I try to go with. It doesn't have to be a strong arch. It can almost be straight. Uh, I've got some paracord on it. The bigger the arch is, it seems to be a little bit harder to control, so I kind of like mine with a slight bow in it. Uh, just with some paracord tied on either side of it. Any kind of uh, cordage will work. Got the bearing block. This is a piece of mesquite wood. Um, this needs to be much harder than your spindle and your fireboard. Uh, key reason is, as this spins in here, this is what goes in your hand. When it spins in here, you do not want friction here. You want it on your fireboard to create your ember. So, hardwood. And then for your fireboard and your spindle, you want softwood. Uh, this right here specifically is the stock from a yucca. You can use sotal, you can use cottonwood, anything that's uh, softwood. And you can, a lot of people use a fingernail test. Basically, if it's dry and you can take your fingernail and put a pretty good indentation in it, it's soft enough. You see that? That's pretty soft. This kind of has a pith pithy center. Um, so it'll actually burn through rather quick. But uh, on your fireboard, I try to take a, a piece and I flatten it on both sides so it'll rest on the ground well. You'll take your knife and you're going to notch a little indentation in here, basically to get this started so it, it seats in there. And what you want to do is you're going to burn it, burn it in a little bit until you have a depression. And you come in with your knife and you're going to cut a notch in the side of it. And I try to take the notch almost to the center of the hole and I do about a one-eighth of a, a pie cut in there. And what this allows is, as you create friction here, a dust, a dark dust, will come out and fall and collect in this groove and concentrate, and that's actually what's going to become your ember in this groove. So on the top part where the bearing block goes, I like to have it a little bit more pointy. On the piece that touches the hearth or the fireboard, I like to have it a little bit more flat, create more friction less friction so let's give her a shot I've already prepared a uh, kind of a tinder bundle or bird's nest I just have some dried grass and uh, some real fine basically fine shavings out of the inside of this oak bark anything that's really fine should work we'll see okay so I'd like to have this nearby but not in the way. I'm going to take basically what you need is a uh, just need to carve a notch in here. Doesn't have to be very big. Basically, I just need an indentation. spindle the right in until we get some until we can burn in its own little shape there. And something else you need is a leaf or a stick or something that goes underneath to catch the ember. Because you want to be able to transfer that ember into your tender bundle. Don't need this quite yet. So when you attach your stick in here, it should be pretty tight. This you're going to put it in there and give it a twist, but you want it riding on the outside of your, your line, like so, on the outside. I think one of the most important fundamentals is get your foot nice and close to where you're going to be spinning, and your knee needs to be basically be behind you here, because you don't want to have this rear leg get in the way of you working your bow here. So get it in behind you. You're going to take your bearing block and you want to, with this notch right here, basically pull it into your shin and that will kind of stabilize it. And then you just basically do a sawing motion. And the key thing in here is <clears throat> initially you want to build up heat so you can start going slow, uh, breathe, just relax. 
basically you just want to get it started. smoke there. Not trying to get a coal right now, but you can see I burned in this indentation so my next thing is to cut a notch in there and give a place for our ember to fall. I like to use my Swiss Army because it's got a real narrow blade on it. Again, this is yucca stock. A soda will work. I'm in Arizona, so the deserts of Arizona doesn't have a lot of water, but it's got some great friction fire making material. Cottonwoods along the washes, nice and soft. Okay. Okay, I got my little uh, piece of bark there to catch the, the coal. Okay, again, we're just going to go ahead and start slow and build some heat, and then as we get it smoking, we can increase heat, increase a little bit of pressure here. But most important thing is just to be fluid with it. Not too much pressure, not too fast. We're just going to build up heat in that socket, that joint. Okay, so it's smoking now. important thing is just to breathe, rest, and what I'm looking for here is for it to continue and smoke on its own, self-sustaining there. Go ahead and catch your breath. I have to disrupt my coal there. So my bark broke, I might have a hard time picking it up. It's not going to go out at this point. So it burns up. Okay, so got in my fine material. I'm just trying without smothering it, give it a little home in there. There should be. 